Hi, my friends. I'm really pleased today to finally show you Signal from Output. I received a lot of requests um, when I done the Rev video, good reviews, and uh, you guys told me to make one for Signal. So this is what I do today. So what we have here, another baby from Output Audio and uh, specialized in rhythm. Okay, so understand here that this baby is really uh, shining in the rhythm area when you you're going to create some patches, some sounds that have some a, a lot of modulation, a lot of movement in it. Okay. So you have the main interface here with basically two sound sources. This is called the Pulse Engines. You have the Pulse Engine A and the Pulse Engine B here. Okay, with the colors, it's uh, really simple to uh, to uh, to understand the, the layout. Okay, for each sound sources here, you have two sorts of rhythm. Okay, different kind of rhythm, different kind of uh, speed, and all that. Okay, you have here the macros. Okay, this will affect some several uh, parameter. Okay. So the macros will change with the presets. You're gonna you're gonna check this out uh, later. Then you have the invade on advanced uh, page where you're gonna choose basically what those rhythm gonna affect here. Okay, we're gonna go back to this later. Then you have your effects pages. So for example, for this patch, let me play it for you guys. I showed you here a goniometer here for you to be able to see the sound and the modulation you need to see it to hear it and see it okay so here you have the global effects page understand here that those effects here when you click on global gonna affect both uh, sounds okay then you can choose between those effects AQ compressor lo-fi tape saturation drive spread Stereo imager, understand here, stereo uh, widener, delay, reverb, flutter. Here, uh, you can choose, for example, we're gonna, say, we're gonna choose a reverb to choose to activate one effect for pulse A, pulse B, okay, or both, okay, and then you have the control for each uh, sound source. Each control are independent, okay, so you can, you can uh, tweak the reverb for A. For a and for b okay so it's it's really great very great interface this is really important for me you know the interface uh have two two big impact in my book okay the first one is gonna be inspiring okay it's gonna be it, it have to be um, a very inspiring for a producer okay if you don't if you don't if you don't dig the, the interface you you will not be able to be uh, in the mood of a creation the second thing the second crucial thing for um the interface is it's really to drive the, um, the customers to the right road understand here that the, the developer wants to to show something they create something for you guys and they want you to uh, be able to um, really dig in it and to really appreciate what they want to um, to uh, to uh, to do with the, the product you know and uh, sometimes you can have some great concepts, but the interface uh, doesn't lend you uh, really uh, in the area where the, um, the developer wants you to go because of the interface. Okay, so what I love about output is that they really design interfaces that lead you on the road, the right road. So you really go where they want you to go with their project. Uh, sorry if I'm uh, kind of confusing with that, but I think you get it. So. For the Apex FX page, that's okay. Let's go back to now for the browser. Okay, here you had a tag system, already uh, famous in a lot of plugins right now. So you have some um, some uh, qualifying um, terms here that that's gonna help you find the right sound. Even some uh, you know some time division. For example, if I, I choose uh, one sixteen, here we go. Okay, fast, dirty, simple. Okay, great. Let's play with the macros here. Pulse, flat. Pulse, rhythm one. You can switch between rhythm one or two. 
or between both. I really love this feature, right? Open, closed. In phase. Out of phase. Look at that here. In phase. Okay, excellent. The macros are really something I really love um, about this plugin. And you're going to see that, look at those macros here. If I switch from uh, for, um, from this preset to another one, they're going to change, right? White. Dirty. Okay, long, tight. Okay, so basically you don't have always the same macros. They really think the macros according to the sound and what they wanna, want you to, uh, to do with the sound. Okay, so let's go back to the pulse engine here. The crucial thing here now is the sound source. So we're gonna start with, um, uh, let's say, the init, the init patches. So you're gonna clear here the tag alter. You choose the ignition here. Pulse engine, by default, you have an analog soul. I'm going to deactivate the rhythm. Okay. How you choose the sound? You click here and boom. What you have here is a sound source menu here. Two types of sound instruments, synths. Okay, so you have all type of synths here, all type of instruments in here. We're going to check those out. And basically, this is what I really love about this plugin because uh, sometimes I, I, I only open this plugin, not even for rhythm, but just to get some great sound source. Uh, the samples are really great, and uh, they're spot on. They really, they really, they really chose uh, the right sound source for you to to make some great design. So this is not bling bling, just like a, a something like they really they really knows that everything is starting with the sound source. This is what I appreciate about that. So analog sign, analog so. triangle. I love Articles. Continuum. Okay, instruments, if you want to add some organic feeling to those sound sounds. I'm pretty low on the pitch on my keyboard, right? I love lows. Let me just go upper in the octave. Okay. Okay, so you see the, the thing. Okay, so we're gonna choose first the first sound. The found the, the, the pulse engine one. So let me just let me just go down and
Okay. Okay, there's already some modulation on this thing. Okay, so we're gonna start for the first engine with something very low. Okay, this is gonna be the body of the sound, okay? So you have it here. So we're gonna create the first rhythm here. Okay, so basically by default, if I click on advance here, it's gonna affect what? You have the main rhythm here, the sounds, and the second rhythm here. So here you have the main rhythm, here the second rhythm, and here you're gonna choose what this rhythm, you see here the, the pulse type, gonna affect. So basically here, I'm just saying this sine wave here, because I decided to be a sine wave for the moment, gonna affect this volume, and the scent level is gonna be this. So if I lower it, you see that the modulation is less. Think of it about, uh, of a dry wet of the modulation, right? So basically here, if I choose the sine wave here, I can choose the speed, look at that. Okay. Okay, you can choose the type of pulse now. This is very interesting. But the first you have the waves here. And look at that, my friends. You can even choose some preset. This I love, I love this virtual alarm. Okay, and you can play and switch from preset to preset on the fly. To really appreciate the impact. Okay, I think we're gonna keep it like that. Okay, you can choose between step sequencer. Same thing here. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of presets. Okay, you can choose the step. I just want to. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, arpeggiator. Same thing. You have a lot of presets here. And finally, you have the loop here. Okay, basically you can choose um, to loop on the sample. Okay. So, we're gonna stay on this thing, and then we're gonna modulate here the volume at this speed. You can choose, look at it. Look at this, okay? To modulate the pen. Okay. Or not. You can choose to modulate the filter. To, uh, to reach the filter parameter, you just click on filter here. And you... Okay. You click another time and then you decide. Not very interesting yet. In this patch, this is just for me to show you the thing. We're gonna have some saturation here. Okay. Let's be cool with that. Okay, same. Oh, drive. Okay, we can have, add another rhythm here, okay? So second rhythm, activate. And basically here, we can choose to modulate here with the sine wave. We can even choose, look at that, where it's gonna start. Only the pan here. Okay, even be, uh, we can put one bar. Okay. Here. 
then what we can do here is uh, let me just collect some level here from scratch here you can go to the FX page and decide for example to have um, the reverb on this thing Okay, this is going to be the body of the movement of the sound. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Uh, I think it's going to be great like that. Spreader. Some delays if you want to add some movement. But we're going to stay smooth here like that. Okay, let's go back to the pulse engine. Okay, so basically we made sound A here. Okay, let's now activate the sound B here. Basically, you have a saw here. So I'm going to deactivate the sound A here for you to hear what type of sound we're going to choose. Two options. We're going to add, we can add some uh, acoustic stuff here. Okay, we're gonna add this grid. You can choose to detune here. You have the overall volume of the sound. Okay, here. We're gonna detune here. I love it. Okay, let's play with both. Okay, let's add some rhythm here, main rhythm, okay, okay, so, okay, let's keep it, let's keep this shape, okay, but let's, Okay, I'm sorry for the darkness, but this is my day mood. here the sand level okay and uh, we're gonna be like um, <laughs> step sequencer look at that just two steps it's gonna be easier for me left right left right okay okay let me just oh, it's okay it's kind of drastic right so we're going to be smoother with this. Okay, shape. Okay. Complex. Let's try some funky stuff. Excellent. Okay. Let's do it like that. Okay, another thing I want to show you. Let me just add some reverb on this thing. Right. 
right? I know some tape situation. Another thing which is great is um, that I chose the rhythm right now. Okay, let me just put some volume. Okay, so basically, if I and I want to, ch to choose another body here, let's say a sub sign. Okay, it keeps everything when you change the sound source here, it keeps really everything. Okay, so I really like this. Okay, let's play with a uh, maybe. Okay, same here. If I want to choose uh, an instrument here, for example, um, uh, metal guitar. Harmonic. Yeah, the the factory is too uh, rough. Make let me see. Okay. Okay, I think I think you see the you see the the power of this baby. Okay, we're gonna finish with some quick tour. I think I'm gonna show because some people asked me to show some of the last um, uh, addition to the library. So you have the cinematic sound here. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> this is really well done. And you compare it to my sheet I just done. Yeah. Like the sound suggests, it's really um, designed for cinematic. Yeah. Still on the low pitch right now. Okay. Regular pitch. Okay, if you go to the pulse engine, you see that they use a lot of organic stuff too here. This gives um, from scratch a really um, live sound, you know, a live sound. So don't don't underestimate. Um, sound sources right this video is just for you to be, to appreciate the controls and uh, what you can do with that i went very basic on this some information here as I forget to tell you you also have here informations to help menu okay so very welcome and don't forget that you can save or copy stuff in the presets here 
as soon as you're gonna save one you're gonna have this user here activated tag okay so you see the sound pack are really great for real can really use uh, those uh, like this from scratch or you can tweak them for example if you like uh, this movement but just want to uh, choose another sound source here like I told you Very clean interface, very uh, easy to, to use. Okay, let's say you want to have another sense here. Okay, so very easy to, uh, to, to, to start with a patch and to make it on. Dirty. Change the ribbon. Same. Maybe I messed up something. Okay, let's go to advance here. Okay, fighter. Good. Okay, movement left, right. Main rhythm. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna stop here. You already know that you that I I can be it can be a, a two hours video when I start something. I'm gonna stop here for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't underestimate this uh, library signal from output. Don't underestimate this developer output is is easy on my top three. Easy. And I'm really really waiting for what they're gonna come up with next. Really. Every time they come up with something um, I'm really like a, like a kid waiting for what they're going to do. Uh, fair price, okay. Very, very great interface. Very great script. Very stable. No glitch, nothing. Um, sound source, excellent. I really wish that they can add some sources in the, in the future. I don't know if it's easy to implement or not. And uh, the, the sound packs, the, the sales, I think it's 35 bucks like that. Uh, you can um, you can expect some more uh, coming from them. So basically, you can expand your um, your uh, your instrument for a very uh, few dollars. So I think this this is the way to go. I really hope you enjoy. One more time, feel free to ask some requests if you want me to expand on something. Don't forget to subscribe to be aware of my next videos. And I uh, say to you guys, have a good day or good night or good afternoon. It's on the web, so we don't know. Bye bye.